What's going on guys? It's Eric again back with another video. I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. The last time I did a full length video, which was on December 24th of 2023, uh, right now today is, I think it's the 3rd of February of 2024. I'll go ahead and put it kind of right down here what, what the actual date is. I'll have to, I'll have to remember to do that. But I got a project to go here guys. I kind of wanted to bring you guys along for the ride here. Uh, there's other kind of videos. I'll probably do a better job of illustrating kind of what I'm going to do uh, with the tub. But I got a crack in my tub, but I also have a crack up in my shower. We're going to go ahead and get that done. As you can see, I got some stuff here, which I'll put down a link in the description. Most of the stuff here I got at Home Depot and Lowe's. I had to go to both places because Lowe's didn't have everything. I actually went to Lowe's, and then I had to run over to Home Depot, or excuse me, Menards, and grab it. another thing. And I also from Amazon, which is the, uh, the paint here, which I'll go ahead and put that down in the description here, which is the paint. I got some Bondo cloth, or uh, fiberglass cloth. I have some low expanding foam here, which will kind of, it's kind of, we're, where we're gonna do the tub repair, it's kind of, uh, whether to do it or not, I guess is really what it is. We're gonna attempt to do it to see if it works. I have some primer in the paint, the Bondo, some Bondo hardener, uh, some putty, all purpose putty, which we'll, we'll get to that here in just a minute on how to do that. I got a, thing for a cord, kind of a measurement cord, which kind of painters use to paint, uh, to make sure they have the right amount of paint. We're gonna go ahead and use that. It's kind of a dual kind of purpose thing here for what we're gonna do. I think it's for the Bondo. I think the Bondo comes out liquid uh, and the hardener just kind of hardens it. But we'll get to that when we get there. I got a paintbrush and some uh, sandpaper, which it's stepped up. It's 80, uh, 120, and then 220 grit, I think is what it is. I'd have to look, but I'm not gonna, for this video, I'm not gonna look at it and kind of put it back here. but. I got some cracks in the tub that I have to repair here, guys. So let's kind of get in, get into the uh, the bathroom here, which is kind of cramped, and it's going to be hard for me to get this camera in here to kind of see what it is. I may have to use my iPhone to do it, but we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and get this tub repair started. So, guys, I, I know the video's not landscapey, but I kind of want to get you guys an idea of how small this bathroom is. We want to take this wall and we want to push it back to where this to where the door is here to to this wall. So we want to take this and kind of push this back. But this is gonna be for another video. Uh, I just kind of want to let you guys know how small this bathroom is. Now the sink is the sink is right behind me here, but you guys don't need to see that. But today's project, as I said before, is this crack right here in the tub. That's the big crack we gotta take care of here. So as you can see, this tub is just a plastic style tub. And I tried my best to get into the crevices, like right in there. I can't, for the life of me, I can't get into the crevices. So you're gonna kind of see some spots where I didn't do a very good job. But this is kind of the back, the back side, kind of looking, uh, looking here. And here's the other side of the tub here. Uh, the shower head's got to get changed out. This whole mechanic thing here has to get changed. The, the guts inside there has got to get changed, which we'll do another YouTube video on. But this is the kind of the tub. It's just a plastic tub. You can get at Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards. But today, I kind of want to get this done and taken care of because it's been with me living here for quite a bit. But it's just me kind of living here uh, for a long, long, long time. Fiance's here. The grandkids are kind of coming over. Uh, her kids are kind of coming over here. So if we want two bathrooms. This bathroom has been just... I, I haven't been using this here for years. So it's time to get it done. Time to get all this stuff. And uh, so let's get going because daylight's burning. So guys, I went ahead and I pre-measured the, uh, the crack in there. It's seven by four inches. So basically we're gonna, gonna, gonna go an inch over in each way. So I'm gonna hit five inch right here. And if I come this way, eight inches almost as straight to this crack here. So I'm just gonna basically come to nine and kind of get this crack over here. So first off, <clears throat> let's go uh, to five inches here. If I can spread this out just right, that's the first thing I gotta do. Never, I've, <laughs> I've actually never done this before, so it's going to be kind of uh, crazy. Oh, there's my camera. It's going to be kind of crazy how this turns out, if it even turns out at all. <clears throat> but I kind of want to do it myself to see if I can even do it, uh, do it myself. So <clears throat> there we go. Get all this nice. And now, let's see. So we said nine. So right to that, right to that crease right there, we're going to go to, and about... Let's go about five, which is going to be, uh, yeah, we can go right to there. That, that should be good enough right there. So I'm going to cut in right into here. Hopefully I'm in frame. And then nine is going to be to the crease. So we're going to go to this crease right here, where we're going to be going. <clears throat> now 
not the straightest of scissors here either. There, got our mat. Let's go back into the bathroom. Again, apologize for the lighting here, guys. Let's see if this is gonna fit, which it should, because I made the measurements. There we go. So it's gonna kind of go something, something like this. There we go, should be good right there. Now, the next spot, I gotta, the next thing is to get the Bondo out, make it up, get the hardener out, see how many drops. I gotta, first off, I gotta see how much I need which I'll just read the directions on the back of the bond or the, the fiberglass thing. And then the next thing, that paintbrush that I got, we're gonna kind of paintbrush and kind of paint look kind of like this coming in here. Uh, this should cover the crack right here, which you can see right through here, but it's when it's all said and done, you're not gonna see this crack here at all with the fiberglass that I put on here and the all-purpose putty that's in here and the, and the paint, you shouldn't be able to see this. We should be uh, ready to kind of rock and roll here, so. Let me, uh, I gotta read the directions and we'll kind of go from there. All right here guys, before I get too far ahead of myself here, let's get some of this all-purpose cleaner in here. This is a Meyer brand one. I live in the Midwest up here in Michigan. Went to the Meyer store, got it. All I'm really gonna do here is just take this and just clean this up here real quick. Let's get this piece of fiberglass out of the way. There we go. Take it, get some paper towel here. And we're just clean, cleaning it up just to give us a good, Good clean area to work with. Ain't gotta be, you know, the best job or anything like that. Just as long as you get it, get it clean. That's all we're really looking for here. Man, this fiberglass stuff is everywhere. Must have got on the towel here a little bit. There we go, there we go, we're good. All right, now guys, we're gonna take some of this 80 grit sandpaper here. It's just this, just this block you've seen here in the other videos or the previous uh, part here. I'm just gonna come in here and just kind of scrape this up just to give it something to bite on when we put the uh, the resin on here, the fiberglass resin for that the mat that we got here. So all I'm really gonna do, it's, I can't remember where I got this from. I can't, if it's Menards or anywhere, see how it's kind of shaped like this. I'm just gonna just scuff it up. That's all I'm really gonna do here. So. Should be good enough. I'm not really gonna, I'm no professional doing this here. So let's go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll clean this up here one more time. Actually, let's do that. Clean it up one more time now that we got it all scuffed. <clears throat> Cause I don't know if you noticed, there's a little bit of powder coming off this here. There we go, that should be good enough. Now, if you put your fans over it, should be kind of coarse a little bit. That's kind of what we're looking for. Just enough to get it to bite to bite in here so it's not like a glossy style finish here. So uh, the next thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and get some resin and some hardener in here and uh, we'll take it from there. Before we get to the fiberglass bondo, I forgot one step here. Uh, we need to take and make, uh, drill holes into it to prevent the cracking again. So what I got is my little Makita tool set out here. It's got some Bring it right up here to the camera, there we go. Got a bunch of tools in it for us, for uh, or tools, a bunch of drill bits in it. And I think what we want is going to be, uh, I don't think the wood's gonna be the one to get or the, uh, the metal, so I'm gonna go with the masonry bit. I don't know if the masonry bit's the right one to use, but that's the one we're gonna use. And all we really need to do is just put put some holes in it here. Let me, let me show you kind of what's going on here. So guys, as you can see, here's the Makita tool set. I think I paid $40 for it on Amazon, which I'll go ahead and put a link down in the description if you guys wanna see it. These masonry bits are kind of right here. We're gonna go with the number four, the smallest one. It's not, not gonna be anything uh, uh, too bad here. Just enough to put the holes in it. So the I, I'm guessing it's kind of for stress relief, I guess. The YouTube video that I watched had said that. So that's the one we're gonna use because it's the smallest one and uh, We'll go ahead and put some holes in it and then we'll start the patching. All right, here guys. So here we are with, <clears throat> here, here we're back in here. So as I can press down on here, I don't know if that's getting bigger or not, but it's kind of right on the edge here of all this. And if I press down in here, here popping, that's where I'm gonna put the low expanding foam in here at. So I gotta make some drill relief cuts. I'm gonna drill here and I'm gonna kind of drill up here and I'm gonna get drill down here. And then <clears throat> I'm 
going to inject that foam in here first to make sure that that uh, to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Because if you're back here again, you're just going the cracks are just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And as I'm coming over here, I'm pressing on the sides. It looks, it feels like on the sides are good. It's just right here. Uh, it it well, kind of is a dead spot, and it's kind of getting to be the start of where this come starts coming up in the contours starting to come up here but I think if I drill here and here and make a relief cut there I think we're gonna be good here <clears throat> so I just got my little drill bit out here I probably could have went a little bit bigger but I'm gonna start here and then I'm gonna get, try to get that straw in there and if I can't get the straw in there I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make the holes here just a little bit bigger so let's go ahead and start there we go oh that Big dead spot. Big, big dead spot. See, right there? Drill up here. Come on. There we go. Man, there's a big dead spot there. Big dead spot. Let's go backwards. Come on, backwards. I don't know if I, if up here is going to be doing going to be doing us any justice here, but we're we're going to go ahead and try and find we're well let's let's stop here for right now. Let's stop here. Those, that should be that should be good enough. Well, guys, I grabbed the number uh, the number six kind of drill bit. Uh, there we go. I grab <laughs> grab the number six uh, masonry bit here. But as I'm kind of thinking about this now, I'm wondering if I'm wondering if the foam idea here is is going to kind of do us any good because you guys seen how far that went in went into the uh <clears throat> into the floor here now, there's a lot of dead space in that floor there i would have i would have thought the floor would have caught that i don't know if this is up on a raised level here either i don't know the answer to that but we were thinking we've been thinking about taking this tub out and putting a new one in here anyway so with that being said, I think I'm just going to put this, I think the holes were the right idea, the right call to kind of give us some relief here. But I'm thinking about just putting this, I'm thinking about just putting it right over top here, putting the resin on top, putting the putty on top and calling it good. And then we'll see if uh, <clears throat> that should give it enough stiffness in the tub here to not, to not crack again. <clears throat> I don't think we need, I think the, the idea of the floor of the low expanding foam would be for this. I mean, the drill bit, that drill bit kind of came, and if I can get it in focus here, that drill bit all, came all the way up to here. So that's probably going to be the right call, I think, is to put the resin in here on the bottom, give it something to s stick to. So I'm going to put the resin all up in here, put this bit right on top, and then resin right over top. I think that is going to be the right call uh, to do all this. So let's get some mix into some resin here. All right, here, guys, you can see I got the fiberglass resin here. And the directions say on this, I'll open this up here, and it comes with its own hardener. Let's spin it around this way. And as I just had this off, just to look at the resin. There we go. <clears throat> so there's the, the resin right there, uh, the hardener and the resin in the box. It takes for every ounce, it says for every ounce here. You go, you're going to put 10 drops. So we're going to do, I'm only going to do four ounces. So I'm really going to do something small here. And then I'm going to put 40 drops into there. And I've had, where's my stir stick at? I had some of these, and you guys are going to laugh at me. I got one of these skewer tips that I'm going to use for a stir stick. So, I mean, you, you, you got to, you got to use what you got. So there's just, there's your stir stick for the skewer. Or, or a stir stick, a skewer I'm going to be using as a stir stick. There we go. I'm just going to put it in here. I'm going to mix it up here and then I'll go with that. I got windows open here so I don't have to use a respirator mask. I also have the furnace turned off here too. So not to, so when anyone comes in, I'm not, they're not getting high off the fumes or getting sick or something like that. So like I said, we're going to go to four ounces here. So I'm going to turn this, I'm going to take my Weiss glasses off. Let's make sure, see if I can pour this correctly. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see the four ounces. Maybe if I turn it a little bit, you will. There you go. So we're only going to put a small amount in here, like four ounces. 
Oh, right about there is good. Well, a little bit over four ounces, but that's all right. So, now, in one of the YouTube videos, and I'll put it down in the description, what's going to go on here. So, one of the guys had said that he's been doing this a while, is to use this, ooh, that's already getting to my head, causing headache. Four drops of this hard, or ten drops, stir, ten drops, stir, ten drops, stir, ten drops, stir. And he said that usually works better than to mix it, uh, than to put it all 40 drops and then try to mix it. It just kind of works better. So for that, it says for the hardener here to get a thumbtack, which I had a thumbtack. Now I got to find where that I put that at. All right, here, found it. That guy right there is what we're looking for. So open this up, push the little push pin in here. <sighs> My goodness, man. There we go. It's in now. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Put this back on. And now we stir. Ten more in here. Then once we apply this, it'll be 45 minutes to an hour to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mixing her up, mixing her up. Da, da, da. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we're done. I'm gonna go get my respirator on. So it's probably gonna be hard for me to talk. I'm gonna get the paintbrush and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, guys, you're probably not going to hear me all that well because i got the respirator on now, but basically kind of what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just kind of dump it right in here on the side to give it some tackiness so I can put this guy on, or so I can put this guy on right here. All right. Just pour a little bit in here. And then I got a little $2 brush I got from... Uh, that should be good right to there and I got a little two dollar two inch brush here and all I'm gonna do is just kind of get it around here do the Bob Ross thing just so this thing has a oh that mat that fiberglass mat has something to stick to okay there we go Probably have a little bit too much on here, but that's all right. All right. Next, I'm gonna put this guy on. And while it's wet, I can at least kind of move it around here. Come on, pot liquor. There we go. Move it around right about to there. That should be good. Now I'm gonna take some more of this resin that I mixed, pour it right on top. Oh, that should be good enough. And then I'm going to move out first. And move up. There we go. There. Now this resin is probably gonna, it's gonna be strong enough to do what we're doing. I probably could have just used the resin, it probably been good, but I figured this fiberglass mat on top of it's gonna be really good. So this is what we're, this is what we're doing. Uh, I'm gonna put a little bit more on here for insurance. So now it's now the, now's the time to stop and to let it uh, let it dry up here, and uh, we'll go ahead and get some other stuff going on here. So, forty-five minutes to an hour should be good. We'll test it, make sure it's dry, and then we'll uh, come back, scrape it off, put some uh, 
sandpaper on it, paint it, and we're done. See you in about an hour. All right, here, guys, we're on day two, and I'll admit, I can't remember kind of where we left off here, but uh, as you can tell, I've got the relief holes in here. This is pretty stout. I mean, I'm pushing on this, and it's not even budging one bit. That mat and that resin, I probably could have just gotten away with the resin, but I figured the fiberglass mat on top of it, this has made it super strong. I don't even think I need to go any further with this. Um, I've thought about putting some uh, actual Bondo resin on here, which... Uh, has the little particles in it. I think that's what it's called. It could have got in here where the cracks are at and everything. There's a, <laughs> there's a little piece of the uh, uh, of the paintbrush in here. But yeah, when I press on this, there's no give at all, none. Uh, I would be pretty safe to say that this is done. Um, the next part here is take the 80 grit. Where is this 80 grit thing here? Here it is. Take the 80 grit sandpaper and kind of go back across this here, rough it up. Uh, get it somewhat smooth. I'm going to take these little blotches out. I don't know if the camera's going to, but there's a couple blotches here where uh, where I had the paintbrush and wasn't really paying attention here. But next stop is to take this 80 grit uh, pad here and just kind of scuff it up, get it good, and then I'm going to put putty on top of this so that so the putty has something to grab onto and to um, you know, we're going to smooth it out just as best as I can and then come back over it with the 80 grit and then go to the 220 uh, and then to the 320 grit here, which is, uh, or the 120 and then with the 220, as you guys see seen at the beginning of the video here. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of start scuffing this up here. And I'm just taking the pad here. It's starting to smooth out here pretty nice now. There's a couple of high spots in here that I need to get. Those I'm gonna concentrate on here. Probably just gonna, I'm gonna shut the camera off and then we'll come back when I'm all said and done here on this high spot. These two little high spots right here. All right here guys, I got my trusty little jackknife right here. There we go, a <laughs> trusty jackknife. Uh, I sanded this down for a little bit and it wasn't really getting into the spots kind of right here. The spots that are kind of over here, they're probably off camera. So I'm just gonna take this and just kind of do my best to kind of get, get these down and out of here, which I don't need to be here. There's one. There's one, there's one. That actually did pretty well. So the big ones here are the ones that are gonna be a, gonna be a big deal. Like the, there's a big one here and a big one here. Now, this is off. I don't know if you guys can tell, but right here is where all this, uh, where the mat ends, right here. And this is above the mat, so it must have just pooled there. All I'm really gonna do here is see if I can shave it is what I really wanna do here. Maybe the putty might be able to get right up and over here. But I'm gonna try my best to get, get rid of that. Try again with the 80 grit here. Thought the 80 grit might be cut, might have cut into this, but finding that it's not. I don't want to ruin it, ruin what I got here. So that looks like that's not really going to be the be the right right thing to do here. So we'll uh, I'll mix up the putty here, and uh, we'll we'll just make sure to kind of smooth this out better here for this ridge, and uh, then we'll take it from there. All right, here guys, I got some of this putty out here. This uh, the all-purpose putty for the bondo. Uh, it's supposed to have hardener in it. Let's we'll go ahead and see if we can get this cap off here first. I'm Oh, there we go. Yep. There's your cream hardener. Right here is the cream hardener. Well, let's get it in the camera. Cream hardener here. And it looks like it's a uh, a style where I got to pop the top off here, which ain't no big deal. So let me go grab that. So I brought a hammer with me, but I don't think I'm going to need that. See if we can get underneath here with this and pry this up. See, I just got a little piece of cardboard here. That's all you need. There we go, tops off here. Ooh. Probably gonna need to have the respirator on. Let's go ahead and do that. Probably not gonna be able to hear me all that great because I got the respirator on and I'm the only one here right now, so. Next thing I'm gonna do is, there it is, take this, scoop some out, no, I'll just get the wipe a different one here. 
But I'm just going to scoop some of this out and place it on here. Then we're going to take some creamer and kind of the, uh, the cream hardener and we'll mix it up. Next, we're going to take this cream hardener. And I don't know how much of the cream hardener that we need here. Let's uh, put this guy back on because I think we're done. It doesn't say here on the cream hard or the, the cream hardener. The all-purpose putty. So I'm just going to put a diligent amount in here. There we go. You let me know in the comments if that's too much or not enough. Next. Mix time. There. So I think we're good here. Let's go back into the uh, let's go back into the tub and get it done. So now I'm just going to take some of the putty here, take some of this putty, and I'm going to flop it all around up in here. I'm just going to do my best because this is my first time doing this. So. Now we're probably going to be replacing this tub here too, so I'm not going to be too upset about the job that I'm doing here. Oop. It's already starting to dry, I can tell. There we go. So, I think that's probably going to be good. The hardener was... <laughs> I guess I could have put a little bit too much hardener on here, but it is what it is, guys. Like I said, this is my first time doing this, so critique me down in the comments based on what I did here. So we're going to let this sit and dry. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be tomorrow or Monday I'm going to get to this, but we'll see how it does. We'll sand her down, paint it, and it should be done. I'm ready to go here to get this, uh, get this going. It's dry. Uh, I think I... <laughs> I think I ended up putting too much hardener in here, but first time we're doing it, you know, <laughs> you, you, you'll just, you just learn. So anyway, I'm going to sand this down. I'm going to use the 80 grit that we, what we've been using, this 80 grit. Then we're going to kind of go down to a 120 grit, which is this, this guy right here. And then last but not least, we're going to do the, one, the 220 grit. So <clears throat> this is probably the part where people are probably laughing at me saying, you dumbass. But it is what it is. So first off, just going to scrape it up pretty nice here. It's coming along. It's coming along. This is, this is going to be the worst part right here. It, it obviously dried too quick. I have to put... It's clear that I put too much hardener on it. Well, guys, I just got done vacuuming. Just a real quick vacuum job. The 180 grit did all right. I got these kind of smoothed out here. It's still kind of rough right in here and over into here. And I'm hoping that the 120 and the 220 grit are going to be uh, the, real, the real MVPs here. I got a couple of gashes here. Just really, just trying to smooth things out is kind of what I'm going to do here. So we're going to go with the, the 120 grit sandpaper. We're going to go ahead and get this slided down here just a little bit and then do the 220. Boy, in just a little bit here, it's smoothed out quite a bit already. I'm actually quite surprised how, how good this 120 grit sandpaper is already. Oh yeah, she's starting to come real good right now. You're going to notice there's a patch here. I already know that. 
but it's starting to smooth out really nice. I'm going to get it just a little bit better here. Starting to come through here just a little bit. I think that's good enough for who it's for. We're down to the home stretch. We're going to use this 220 grit sandpaper just to finish up around here. I've started, I know this, I'm starting to get come through the, uh, the, uh, the putty that I put down here. It's just gonna, when you step in the tub, you're gonna notice there's a patch here. There's no, there's no way around it. And, uh, no, that's, <laughs> I guess that's what it is. <clears throat> so here's that 220. It's pretty, it's not as nowhere near as coarse as the other two, obviously. But I'm just gonna kind of scuff it up here and then we're gonna paint it. Shouldn't take me too long to do. I'm digging how this is coming out. Really digging it. Oh, here needs some more. Oh. But you're just going to know that there's a patch. That's all. Your feet are going to say, hey, so this has been patched. to the home stretch guys down to the home stretch all right here guys we're on day i don't know what day we're on but we're uh, going into the next week here just a lot of stuff that's been going on uh family life all that sort of stuff is uh, kind of hindered the project here but i bought these discs and i bought this little disc sander here which i'll bring out here just my father's kind of a dewalt disc sander it comes get this out here it just comes as you as you see here has its own little filter on here you just clamp on here and there's your kind of little dust filter comes it's a 120 oscillating type of sander here and i got the 80 grit the 120 and the 220 grit probably didn't need them all but hey <clears throat> we're, we're gonna be in there again and let's be honest here the, on the last video that i had uh i think where i hand sanded it the same the hand sanding was again it done so hopefully this will get it done much faster for us and uh We'll go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll get this done and kind of see how see how this oscillating sander does. All right, here, guys. Here's where I left off. I don't think I got it where I painted it on here. But as you can tell, this is just with the primer on here. And well, let's 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 face it. It's the the job isn't job isn't very good here. You can see all right in here. There's cracks in here. This should be very very smooth. That's why I got this my father's oscillating sander on. I'm gonna have to get one one of my own. It's it's pretty, pretty freaking cool. But anyway, I'm going to kind of focus on here and try to get this rough down. I got the 80 grit pad on here. So I already got it plugged into the wall and I got like a 50 foot extension cord, uh, which I didn't put on video here, but I'm going to go ahead and give her a plug in here. There we go. Let's give her a, let's bring it up over in here. Let's give her a shot and see what she does. Now again, I got the 80 grit on here. There's a little, a little bit of a high spot right over here. So I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and start up to add the oscillator right in the way here. I'm gonna try to get over here, but that's much, much better, much better. God damn. <laughs> Excuse my language here, but dude. Holy cow, much better, much, much better. I gotta, sorry, get this out of the way here. I gotta get right over here next. I should have my, I guess I should have my uh, respirator on, but I don't. Wow, wowzer. There's a couple of rough spots right up and in here, but man, I'll tell you what, 
This oscillating, well, however much this is, I think I've seen them on Amazon for like $159. Worth every, <laughs> worth every penny. I, I can't believe I didn't invest in one earlier. Wow. Holy moly, that is very good. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and switch out. Switch out from the 80 grit. I'm going to put a, the 120 grit on put sander over and then we'll uh then we'll get to the 220 here oh before i before i get to that one velcro come on velcro Ooh. and you're done my apologies here guys let me get this on the way here i got a lot of cleanup to do <laughs> it's all over the place anyway my <laughs> i screwed up here i didn't put the filter i didn't put the filter on here i must have bumped it and it came off that could have been too but here we go with the 120 grit. I got the 120 grit disc on. There we go. There we go. I think we're ready for the 220. And then we're done. All right, here, guys. Here we go with the, uh, the 220 grit. very satisfied with how this comes out now i know i took a lot of the putty off kind of right here and up in here my my main objective here is to get this here because that's where the crack was and the crack was up here that was the main objective i think when i prime and paint this you're not going to see that it's going to just kind of all blend in together here but uh i am very man i wish i would have i'll admit i wish i would have invested in one of these many many years ago because man it Make shit like this. <laughs> Excuse my language. It makes stuff like this easy peasy. And I can't, I feel like I spent unnecessary money on those black sanders, I will admit. But maybe that might come in with a use. But anyway, guys, let's kind of let's get this uh, cleaned up and uh, primered, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, here, guys. I went ahead and I uh, cleaned up a lot of the uh, the dust in here. We're just going to use, like I used it uh, the previously, this... Uh, all-purpose cleaner i'm going to clean up the tub here and uh then we'll uh, go ahead and start putting uh the primer and the paint on here all right here guys are ready to go ahead and prime it what i'm using is i got this off amazon and i'll go ahead and put the link down in the description Got this, there we go. <laughs> Got this uh, Rust-Oleum uh, flat white primer. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna stick it right up and over here. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll, see, we'll see how this looks here. I'm gonna put a thick layer on. Gonna get up here on the sides too where I ran it past. There we go. Might have got a little bit uh, a little bit aggressive here. I'm gonna get some up here on the top more. There we go. I'll tell you what, it looks a hell of a lot better than it did last time. I'll tell you that. But let's go ahead and let this dry. It's probably gonna take 24 hours to dry, but I'll read the um, I'll read the instructions on this to see how long we wait, but I think it's going to be 24 hours, and uh, we'll come back the next day. All right, here, guys, we're on the, we're definitely on the home stretch now. Uh, the camera isn't really picking this up all too much, uh, but there is kind of a little bit of a blue hue uh, coming from uh, the putty that I put down and sanded down. This is coming out really, 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 really nice. I probably really should have taken that 220 and kind of smoothed it out kind of right around here. I may still do that off camera. Um, Smoothing it up here around the edges, making sure the patch stays. Yes, honey. I had to come interrupt your video because you're doing such an amazing job. I mean, look at that. That's really, it's really good. <laughs> it's really good. 
it's kind of still rough right around here, like here and here. I don't know if I need to kind of put 220 grit kind of right around here to kind of smooth it out, but you, know, you can tell you can tell the transition from here to here. You can tell that. Yeah, it looks really good though. You've done an excellent job. Thank you. Yeah. And here's the, the pain I'm using, so. Pat on the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, you're going in the video too. Okay. <laughs> that was the fiance here, guys. But anyway, we're going to do this uh, Rust-Oleum. It's tub and towel. You can get that right on the... Uh, uh, right on the Jungle website, Amazon. I, did, I looked in everywhere, like Lowe's, Home Depot, and Menards. I could not find this, so I had to get it on Amazon. Uh, I can't remember how much it is, but hopefully this will be the final touch here. And if I can get this cap off. Uh, there we go. Man, why are these caps so hard to, hard to get off? And then any other time they're not. Give her a good shake. And then we'll put her on here, and then we'll come back to the final, uh, come back to the final, uh, see how it looks. And here we go. <clears throat> I can still see the blue hue on here now that I've kind of spray paint, spray painted it, but I don't think you're, I don't think you're technically going to get rid of that. Uh, that blue hue, not without many, many coats, but uh, I, <laughs> I will admit, guys, I'm gonna probably going to wrap it up here. I am really impressed with how this came out here. As you can tell, the fiancé seems, seems to think the same thing. Uh, now, <laughs> I for a first-timer doing this, I, it, it, it came out very, very well. But the, the oscillating sander was the, uh, was the big win here. But let's kind of go into my uh, office here, and I'll do a wrap-up. All right, I figured I'd give a final kind of thoughts video on here on kind of this whole uh, tub repair uh, thing. What you looked at and kind of what I'm editing here in the videos, it took about three weeks uh, to get all the materials, watching YouTube videos about how to do the tub repair. Um, and with stuff going on in our own personal lives, it's taken three weeks to do. Um, it's kind of just how it just, <laughs> just kind of how the, the, kind of how our lives went more or less is kind of what I'm getting at um, but my doing it my first time uh, I believe I, I feel a sense of accomplishment I feel very good about what I did the oscillating sander was the game changer of all that you guys uh, if you're this far into the video me kind of sanding all of that uh, sanding all that down by hand what it took hours to get it to where it's at now I mean probably would have took a good one to two possibly three hours to get it to get it to that point and that's through the success of 80 grit, 120 grit, and 220 grit that, that you kind of see here in the video. So getting the oscillating sander, I mean, I'm going to purchase one because that's my father's there that's in the video. I'm actually going to purchase an oscillating sander. And I told my uh, fiance, I was like, hey, for my birthday, I kind of would really like this. So uh, I feel like I'm going to get an oscillating sander here, uh, uh, here in the near future. Uh, another thing here, if you watch the video, me putting the hardener in there, I feel like I put way too much hardener uh, in with the all-purpose putty. And kind of when I'm kind of getting to that, as you guys didn't see off camera, is when I was mixing it and kind of brought that from the time you guys seen it mixed to the time you guys seen me going kind of in the back end of the tub, uh, it was starting to harden. It was starting to harden fast. And I don't know if you guys picked that up on the video. Uh, right to the very end, they were starting to clump together. And I was like, oh boy, this is kind of, this is going to be bad. But again, the oscillating sander came out. Uh, that was a game changer. That came and kind of took that uh, right apart here. Uh, watching the YouTube video was a big, big thing. And I'm going to put a link down in the description. I'm going to put a link into the card, which you probably have already seen. It's kind of, <laughs> it's kind of weird for me, kind of talking about this, kind of doing it into the future. But I'm going to put a card uh, in there, probably right at the very beginning of the YouTube video that I'm referenced to do this job. Now, the guy that does this job, does this for a living, uh, he, excellent, excellent work uh, for what he did, at least there in the video. He it looks like he's a professional, and he does this probably day in and day out, the video that I'm going to link there. But um, that's, the, that's the one I referenced and got all the materials on here. And speaking of the materials, I went to Lowe's. And for everything that you kind of seen there at the very beginning of the video came to $102. And then I went and bought... The three uh, oscillating pads, which I think were, uh, goodness, $11 each. So there's another $33. So it's pretty close to $150 uh, 
uh, to do all this. Now, could I have kind of uh, shortcutted a couple things and probably have gotten this down to a more manageable, I don't know, set $50, $75? I probably could have, but I wouldn't have the, the look that I have in there today. Um, I'm going to kind of sand it off camera really, really fine uh, right around there. Uh, going to do the best job that I can and probably re spray paint it one more time to get that nice, uh, nice look on here. And also I'm going to look at the video to see if there's any kind of maybe gel or something that you put on there so that, so as you're kind of back in there, you, your feet doesn't feel so rough. But uh, I, I don't know if that stuff exists here, but I'm going to look here on the next YouTube uh, video that I'm going to reference and kind of look at that and see if that uh, happens on here. But overall, I'm very, very impressed with what I have. The sense of accomplishment is big. Uh, but if you made it down to this far as this video, or maybe any point in this, I don't even know how many viewers are actually going to get this far. Let me know what I could have done different. Now, this is the first time project for me. I had no help from anybody. Usually my dad comes down and helps me. But I wanted to do this project on my own. I knew I could do it. And I'll admit, my father was a carpenter. If anyone, uh, or industrial arts teacher. And Well, first he was a carpenter, and then he was an industrial arts teacher uh, for a school. And I kind of picked up on some things. Now, and I, I really don't do a whole lot around the house, but that's going to change here. Sorry, guys, the fiancé interrupted me there, but I think I left off with, and I got some gum in my mouth now. I probably should have waited, but anyway. The next part of the video you're probably going to see is me going into the guts of that of that shower. Mixing valve's got to get changed. The cartridge got to get changed out. We're going to kind of look in there to see if, because that shower hasn't rained in years. So we're going to have to take a look at the lines, kind of get in there, kind of see how we do it, see uh, what else needs to be replaced. And then we have to change out the shower head up top because I'm sure that's all gummed up. Maybe it's just as simple as taking the screen out, washing the screen, putting that back in. Maybe it's just a simple change. And then we're going to take that nozzle out take a look at that because the, the stopper isn't kind of working right. I'm going to take that apart, inspect that, maybe have to get a new one of those to slide that right back on. We should be good to go uh, to use that shower. But anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think right down there in the comments. Like I said, uh, this is a first-time kind of project for me. Uh, first-time tub repair for this for me. But let me know what I could have done better. I would appreciate any comments, even if it's criticism, anything like that. Put it kind of right down there in the comments. And I would also appreciate if you give it, give it a thumbs up. It's going to kind of go out into the YouTube algorithm and suggest that should suggest the videos on here. I know at some, some points in the video I kind of sounded like I knew what I was doing. I'll fully admit, I did not know what I was doing at all, and I was actually going off of the recommended YouTube video that, that I went ahead and I, I referenced there. Uh, also, guys, like I said, give it a thumbs up if you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you do not, and also smash that subscribe button so you guys get more videos just like this one. There's going to be kind of more house tips, um, kind of projects tips, <laughs> more projects uh, kind of coming around here that I'm going to document here for the house if we ever end up selling the place. And maybe even giving you guys some ideas that, that you can do, um, you you guys can do yourself. And guys, I'm going to I'm gonna end this video with this, uh, with, a, with a person, he's Eric O out at South Main Auto. He says, if I can do it, you can do it. That came true today. All right, guys, deuces. Take care, guys.